And good Sunday afternoon from Japanese Irish Highlander here in Saranayak, Hall Beach, Nunavut. Ah, uh, just a little update. Um, as I have mentioned before, uh, when my data is getting low, I can't uh, upload video. So this will probably be coming up in about another 10 days or so when it clicks over. But anyway, uh, this is the week uh, going into Valentine's Day, uh, which for some of my classes, they seem to be, uh, you know, getting all the cute type of, you know, let's put up Valentine's and stuff like that. So that that's nice. Um, but also we're coming up to a professional development week, which means that we're actually going to be doing uh, training all the week on different courses that we've uh, picked and choose from a variety of different items. So that's actually going to be quite nice. Uh, we're looking forward to having a, uh, there's going to be like a breakfast for the teachers uh, tomorrow morning on Monday, which is great. Um, and in the past week, uh, things have been going pretty good. I'm actually starting to claw myself out of my mountain of issues that I'm taking care of. Uh, <laughs> so that's nice. Um, so there is a light at the end of the tunnel and things look like we should be okay. Um, so I'm looking forward to being able to go uh, back to Nova Scotia in the summer and then coming back up here in uh, September because that's... That's the main game plan. Um, uh, also, I've been able to order some uh, supplies in, which is nice. So I have a few other things coming, which is great. Uh, it means that I can enjoy some of my creature comforts, such as more curry and uh, more things like that. Um, the weather has been steadily constant, uh, minus 35, minus 45. So I uh, feel like cold temperatures still down to minus 55 minus 60 and you know so you, you just get used to it after a while and there's not much point in complaining about it because literally uh everybody has the same situation it's cold and uh but the nice thing though is the fact that you do have the sun is now sticking around so the sun will rise at say eight nine o'clock in the morning and we'll set at around you know 3 30 4 30 in the afternoon which means that yeah uh regular daylight hours are definitely back and to stay which is nice uh because darkness was kind of interesting uh but here that's the other interesting 180 uh slide of that is that coming up into the spring we're gonna have uh, 24 hour daylight. So that means that my curtains will probably have to be changed to something darker. So obviously I'll be ordering something in for that uh, because I don't think uh, those camouflage ones are going to hold out sunlight. But I mean, it all remains to be seen. Uh, but there are a couple of flags and things that I'm looking at. Uh, possibly picking up uh, that are dark color and we'll go from there. Uh, but yeah, there's, it's just another week. Uh, uh, nothing major, nothing horrendous has happened, which is great. Uh, I was able to contact my church in uh, Dutch Settlement and let them know, you know, things are going great and everything's all fine and dandy with me. And that was kind of nice. And the cool part was, is that uh, my son Ian was playing piano, uh, or organ, I guess, at church this morning, and uh, I hadn't let on that I had written a letter to the parish, and please read it out at church, and he was kind of like, oh yeah, by the way, that was pretty cool, I mean, that's nice. Um, so yeah, uh, everything uh, should be great and wonderful, and like I keep saying, I'll eventually be dancing in the pixie dust, and uh, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy, which is pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, it's the winter time. There, you really can't do much. Uh, I have been able to walk a bit more, uh, because I have to walk back and forth to school. So that means that eventually this gut is hopefully going to get a little smaller, but Hey, that's, that's either wishful thinking or, uh, uh, optimistic, I suppose you could say. But however, I have heard that when the spring does come or when as it progresses that the temperature will 
significantly drop. So I'm like, okay, my new springtime feeling whether it may be anything below minus 15. So <laughs> when that happens, woohoo! You don't have to be as bundled up as you usually are, unless the wind is kicking up high and you have the uh, you have your wind chill. Although there is one thing I should uh, mention what I picked up at the store this week, because I did put up a, a picture of it, uh, but this was something that I picked up. <laughs> and everyone may be thinking, okay, what kind of uh, weapon is that gonna take? So it's a thermos mug from Olympic, and it basically looks like a 12 gauge shotgun shell. It doesn't have a primer or anything, and it's not crimped, which that would have been really interesting if it looked like it was actually crimped and stuff. But it's it's uh, kind of like a tea coffee flask. Now I have I have another one right now, a really big one. Uh, this one uh, I just thought it was kind of cool to pick up, and I'm still deciding uh, if I'm gonna brew tea and put it in it because. I do have a, a third one, a little tiny one that I use, which is just a right mug size. But uh, I probably will. Um, when I go out on the land or something like that at some point, I do know that later in the spring, I've heard uh, that a couple, uh, the last few years that we've actually taken our students out on the land. When that happens, uh, I'm definitely going to have to invest in some additional camping gear uh i.e um a sleeping bag that's you know good which i thought was really funny because when i was talking to nigel my the uh my patrol the patrol sergeant and uh the uh one of the janitors at the school he's like yeah well <clears throat> if you need a super warm sleeping bag that's okay <laughs> because you know i'm <laughs> i'm from down south i didn't grow up here but anyway, uh, it should be fun to, to see what we're going to do. Uh, but yeah, that was just a kind of little comical thing I saw up at the Northern store and I figured I'd pick up. Uh, I've seen it for a couple months and I was just waiting to see what would happen. I did miss out on getting a really cool uh, survival hunting type kit that they had in the store. Uh, that was around 100 bucks. Uh, this little thermos was only about 32 so it wasn't too bad, but... Uh, um, I figured I, I couldn't really see about shelling out uh, 100 bucks on some stuff that I really did not really require at the moment. Uh, plus also, uh, that's about half of the food budget. I, I'm trying to keep my uh, grocery budget to about $200 uh, per check. Uh, and that's just to try to save up money to pay everything else off. Uh, but also in that, when I'm buying my foods, uh, I'm trying to stay with foods that are uh, nutritious and also are vital to survival. Um, one of the things that the stores up here do is that there is an actual discount that's passed on to you. And it's part of what's known as the, I, I believe it's a northern, uh, it's like a northern nutrition or something. It's a government program trying to ensure that the population up here does get proper uh, vitamins, minerals, and everything else in your diet. Because uh, quite frankly, it's, it's pretty desolate, obviously, up here. Uh, the fact that I have been actually prescribed vitamin D tablets was rather interesting. I was taking them, and then I got prescribed some more uh, because my... Maybe it's just the lighting on this camera or something like that, but... I have had people notice that, yes, I am kind of pale. Well, when you go back and forth to school and you have to be bundled up and the only thing that's visible are your eyes, uh, yeah, that's the reason why my face is kind of pasty white. Uh, my hands as well. Uh, a lot of my students are saying that uh, my uh, skin tone, uh, if I'm laughing or I'm embarrassed or something, my... It's funny, they don't say that my face turns red, they, fa they say my face turns pink. Well, at this color right now, I would say that my hand looks about the, uh, the uh, same color consistency of uncooked chicken. So I'm like, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yes, people may also be noticing that, wow, we really are going for the whole Wolfman Jack look with the beard and hair. 
What's about that? Well, I'm actually waiting for a pair of clippers that I've ordered. Uh, basically, uh, there's no other way that you can cut your hair up here. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. Anyway, that's all I have to say for today. And I'll post this up uh, after my data really tops up, which will be around the 17th. So take care, everyone, from up here in Nunavut. Have a good day.